Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss about inner class or nested class in detail. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. Till now we have discussed how can we create a class. Inside a class, how can we define a method which can be a static method or class method or instance method. Then we have discussed how to create an object for the class. Then with the help of an object, how can we access the variables or the methods which are there in the class. I hope those concepts you know. Now let me discuss how can we define a class inside an another class. If we have a class inside an another class, that class will call it as an inner class. We would have discussed about the nested loops. We have an outer for loop, inner for loop. Similarly, we have discussed about nested if conditions like you have an if inside an if you have another if condition. So you have an outer if condition and you have an inner condition. So now similarly, we will discuss inside a class, we will have another class. Okay. So now let me first write a class student. Okay. This is my outer class. Okay. This is my outer class. So now inside this outer class, I have some init method and display method. So you know about the init method, which is a constructor. So underscore underscore init, then whatever you want to define. Suppose let's take that I want to define the name and roll number. So name and roll number I am giving. Okay. Then I am writing self dot name is equal to name and then self dot roll number will be equal to roll number. This one we already discussed in other videos also. Similarly, if I want to display these values, we know that we will use some user defined method called display and we will pass this self. So this one is what? This is an instance method. Okay, we have three types of methods, instance methods, class methods and static method. Instance method is useful for you to access the instance variables. So using this display method, I want to display the name and roll number. So I, what I will do self dot name comma self dot roll number. This is absolutely fine. Okay. And now you know that how can you create an object for this class? What you will do? S1 is equal to student, which is a class name. Then you will have to pass the name and the roll number. So what I am doing the name, I'm considering it as Jesse and the roll number I'm considering it as one. Then if I write S1 dot display, we know that it will give you the output as Jesse and one. These things we already discussed. Now what I want to discuss is that inside this outer class, I want to define an another inner class. Is it clear? Now let me discuss that one. We are defining a class called, let's take that uh, something laptop. Let's consider that student need to have a laptop. Okay. Now this class laptop is your inner class or nested class. Let me write it as an inner class. Whereas the student is an outer class and laptop is an inner class. Now here I want to define the init method. So def underscore underscore there should be no space init init means under init underscore underscore then similarly self comma let's take that laptop name let me write it as ln laptop name okay i am writing self dot ln is equal to ln okay now i hope it will be visible for you so i am defining one more method inside the laptop class as show which is also your an instance method okay this is your instance method of the inner class this is what this is a constructor init method is useful for you to initialize the object state 
So here what I want to display is that the laptop name is print, laptop name is Ellen. I hope it is visible for you. So what I have done is that I have defined a class inside an another class. Now if I want to access the methods of the outer class, we know it. We have created an object called S1 of class called student. With the help of that object, we can access this display method. This is absolutely fine. Now I want to access the methods which are there in the inner class. That what can you do is that you can create an object called L1 is equal to S1 dot laptop which is a class name there you want to initialize what the laptop name let me write it as s look at here what is this one let me discuss again for you l1 is the object you want to create for the laptop is equal to s1 is what is an object for the student outer class okay so you need to write inner class object is equal to outer class object dot inner class name so that's why s1 dot laptop and whatever the value you want to give or whatever the laptop name you want to give you can write it now you want to access the method which is an instance method from the laptop class then you can write l1 which is a an object for the laptop class dot show then it will give you the output as laptop name is s this is absolutely fine now you can ask me one thing sir you have created one object for the outer class with the help of the object of the outer class you have created an object for the inner class this is absolutely fine with the help of this inner class object we want access the methods which are there in the inner class and with the help of the outer class object we can access the methods of the outer one now i want to ask one question to you let's take that i have not created any object for the outer class then i want to create an object for the inner class let's take that let me erase this one let's take that i have not created any object for the outer class now without creating an object for the outer class can we create an object for the inner class yes we can do it let me discuss that one if you have not created any object for the outer class how can you create an object for the inner class directly then you can simply write inner class object name l1 is equal to what is the outer class name student so you will write student dot outer class name dot inner class name which is laptop then whatever the value you want to pass you want to pass the laptop name let me write here as del okay then if you are right l1 dot show then it will give you the output as laptop name is dell i hope it is clear for you still if you have any doubts don't worry i will discuss this concept in the jupyter notebook let me define a class called student and inside the class let me define in it method underscore underscore in it then again underscore underscore then I want to take one parameter self and another one as name and then yes. Then what I will write self dot yes or before yes. Let me write name is equal to name. Then self dot yes is equal to yes. If you change the order that does not reflect anything. Now what I want to do name and yes I have initialized. Then I want to write in user defined function called display. Okay. And I want to write it as self. So this will become what instance variable. Then I want to print the name and is of the particular object. So self dot name and then self dot is. Then what I want to do, I want to define a class called laptop. So class laptop. In this class, I want to use the init method. Okay. So self and then 
laptop name let me write it as ln then what i want to do self dot ln is equal to ln and then i will define a show method which is also an instance method then what i will do i will write print the laptop name is or whatever you want to write you can write print the laptop name is self dot ln here also if you want to write in detail you can write the student name is the student name is self dot name similarly if you want to display the is the student is is self dot is okay now what i will do first i will define an object called s1 is equal to student okay then i will give the values name of the student as jagadish and then his roll number or age is 45 my age is not 45 let me write 33 okay now <coughs> if i call the display function or a display method using the object s1 you know that we will get the output as the student name is jagadish and student age is 33 now in place of display i want to call the method called show which is a method of laptop then first what i need to do i need to create an object for the laptop class so we can do in two ways first let me discuss the first way we can write the student object which is s1 dot laptop and then give the laptop name let me give the laptop name as dell then using the l1 object you can invoke the or call the show method look at here if you run the code we will get the opt as a, the laptop name is dell because i am just calling the show method only this is the one way now i don't want to create an object for the student class till i want to create an object for the laptop class then also you can do l1 or whatever the name you want to give write the student which is in outer class dot inner class name laptop and then give whatever you want this time i want to give it as a sir then write l1 dot show then if i run the code i will get the output as the laptop name is a sir so with these examples i hope you have understood what is an inner class or the nested class how to work with them if still if you have any doubts feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day